What's going on guys? My name is Garrett, better known as Red Robin here in the Jobless Gamers channel. Today guys, we're looking at the brand new card that came with the Valentine's DLC, the Albany Roosevelt. Now this car is very, very expensive. We're going to go over all the upgrades you can get for it. And the first thing you want to do is go over to internet, go to travel and transport, go to legendary motorsport, and it's the first car that you'll see in legendary motorsport. Now this car costs $750,000. Now, if you don't have this cash, there are many missions you can do like Coveted or Rooftop Rumble to do or even sell cars in your garage for this car if you want to. Now, if you do have a Z-Type, as you guys see right here, I highly recommend selling the Z-Type to replace it for this car. This car, the Albany Roosevelt, is very, very good. It holds six people and is a great replacement for the Z-Type. Now, I don't recommend selling your Adder or any supercar because that's just a waste as the Albany Roosevelt is more of a cool looking car that you can use for heists and just a overall cooler looking car than the Z-Type, especially because it can hold six people and the Z-Type can only hold two. I never ever used my Z-Type and that's why I was able to part with it so easily. I sold it for $620,000, went over to the Legendary Motorsport and bought myself a black Albany Roosevelt. Now, when it got in the garage, of course, it becomes automatically insured. As you guys see, it's right here. It's a very nice looking car. It's an old looking 1920s gangster looking car. That's exactly what they were going for. It's not known for its speed. It's not known for its acceleration. It just looks cool. Now, the inside can hold four people and then on each side of the car can hold two. Now, let's go inside Los Santos Customs to see what this car has that's upgradable and adjustable. Now, from what I saw so far, there's not many things you can change with this car. Of course, you can change the tires, you can change the color of the paint, you can add armor, you can add a different horn, you can add a new engine, you can add new brakes, you can add new lights, but nothing like similar to the Rat Loader, where the Rat Loader has all this stuff you can add. This one really doesn't have any of that stuff. So this car is pretty much set how it is, and that's about it. You can change the color to make it a different color, but that's it, guys. There's nothing really crazy cool about this car. It's not fast. It's not the best looking car, but the only thing I do really love about this car is the simple fact that you can have friends hanging off the side. And that's to me, the coolest thing about this car. Overall, I'm pretty happy as you guys can see from this gameplay right here. I have friends hanging off the side. He's able to shoot. It's similar to how the police SUV works or any SUV where you can hang off the side. This is the only car you can hang off the side from. So I highly recommend you guys to get it if you guys have the money. Again, if you guys do need cash, there are three ways to do it. Sell cars in your garage or do missions like Coveted or Rooftop Rumble. Those two give a lot of cash and I highly recommend you guys do them. I'll make a video sometime this week about Coveted and then Rooftop Rumble is very simple. It takes maybe like four to six minutes to do and you get around $25,000 I believe each time you do it. So overall guys, it's a very nice car. I highly recommend you guys check it out. And like always, guys, it's been Garrett, better known as Red Robin here in the Jobless Scammers. And I'll see you guys later today with a brand new video because I'm uploading more than two today. So come back in the next hour or so, and I might live stream as well. So it's a very, very big day for me. Very, very many things going on. I also got Titanfall Beta. So if any of you guys are interested in Titanfall, I might live stream that as well. So I'll see you guys later. Peace.